Hello, Mark here. So what can we learn as leaders from this Ebola crisis? In today's Dallas Morning News, there's an article that says, Solid plans, no guarantee of flawless execution. It says, Long tragic experience in West Africa helped experts write plans to protect Americans should the Ebola virus arrive on U.S. soil. Screening questions and procedures were crafted to succeed Key point here, if everyone followed them. But the careful planning broke down during a single late night shift in a Dallas emergency room. So what's the leadership lesson here? We put a plan in place, we laid it out, but it was the lack of compliance to that plan that has now created a crisis. How often does this happen to us as leaders in our organizations? Maybe it doesn't create a crisis, but it certainly leads to lost time. It certainly leads to rework. It certainly leads to inefficiency in our organization. So let me lay out three things I'd like you to consider that I believe will help increase compliance to the plan and the strategy that you put in place. Number one, think of how you vision cast. And vision casting includes the vision, where we're going to go. It includes the mission what we do and why we do it. It includes our values and it includes our priorities. So when we're laying a mission out or when we're shifting direction, we have to focus on the why. Make sure you're communicating the why behind the what. It's the why that builds more uh, adoption to the plans that we're laying out. It's the why that really connects and gives a greater purpose to, to, to the plan, to the mission. Number two, lay your priorities out and keep them simple, keep them succinct, and keep them clear. We like three main priorities in our group. I know it's challenging as leaders, but we need to keep it simple. So think about how we can net it down to three. Certainly no more than five, but if we can get it down to three big items, we have a higher probability of it connecting, everybody understanding, and everybody being able to comply. And then lastly, thirdly, communicate it over and over and over again. Our priorities are going to change as we go throughout the year and as years turn into next years. So we've got to continuously be refocusing our team and driving home why we're doing what we're doing and our three big priorities that should be top of mind with them. So to recap, if you can think about number one, the why behind the what, okay, why we're doing what we're doing, why it's so important to comply to this new process we're putting in place. Number two, keep our priorities down to three. And then number three, make sure that we communicate it over and over and over again. I was working with a client a few months ago. And she said, Mark, I believe the secret to the success in my team and driving change is that I saturate the organization in our mission, vision, and priorities. If you want to drive change, if you want to drive compliance in your team, saturate it with your communication, your vision, your mission, and the top priorities for your team. Have a great day. Lead with passion.